Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing this bright ass yellow cut crease makeup tutorial. This past weekend I went with my niece and we went and saw Beauty and the Beast so I was really inspired to do a look off of that movie sort of. So the yellow obviously because of her dress and then the sparkles and everything. I can totally see this look being used sometime in the spring and summer for like a music festival or something like that or you can use it to go grocery shopping, whatever you feel like doing. So I got a lot of requests to incorporate more color in my tutorials. It's been a while since I've done a colorful look on my channel, but honestly, I usually save the colorful looks for like spring and summertime. So like right now, um, it, I'm just not really in the mood for colorful stuff in like the fall and winter, you know? So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe and let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with my face today. I usually do the eyes first just in case I have any sort of fallout or anything like that. I can just like clean it up with a makeup wipe. But today I'm just going to use some like translucent powder to set my under eyes so that if it does fall down I can just wipe it away. I'm going to go straight into the Power Fabric Foundation from Giorgio Armani. I'm not going to prime today because I really want to see how this foundation is on its own without a primer because so far it's been fantastic but I don't know if that's because the foundation is so amazing or because of the primer that I was using because I started using them both around the same time. So I am in the shade number five and I'm just going to blend this in with my beauty blender. For concealer I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape concealer in the shade light and I'm going to conceal underneath the eyes and then balance out the brightness of this shade on the rest of my face. I am only going to use a little bit of this though because this is intense and very 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 full coverage. I'm going to contour using the Bobbi Brown foundation stick in almond. I'm just putting this on the cheekbones, the jawline, nose, and forehead. And then I'm going to use the C 517 brush from Crown and blend out all of this contour color. I'm going to apply some of MAC Give Me Sun bronzer and I'm going to use this blush brush from Real Techniques. This definitely gives a more golden bronze shade. And then to give my face a little bit more dimension and contour and chisel it to the fullest, I'm using Infidelity Contour Powder from Makeup Geek. And to do this, I'm going to use my NARS Eda brush. I like to bring my contour in here because it kind of slims my face a little bit and adds shadow down here rather than just up here and keep this wide. And I also bring it back here. So the only like bright part is the center area. But I try to blend it out as much as possible so that it's not like a white square in the middle. I find that when I do that, it looks the most makes me look the thinnest, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna highlight. I am gonna use the Estee Lauder Heat Wave highlighter because I want a really beaming highlight. And in my last video, I showed how this highlighter finally worked for me. So I am going to dig my brush in here and then apply it to the cheekbones. And then I'm gonna use some of these Too Faced Love Light highlighters. Um, they are very pretty, but they're a very natural looking highlighter. They're not gonna be beaming at all like this Estee Lauder one, but I am just gonna tap a little bit of Blinded by the Light. This color here, it's a little bit more of a whiter shade and apply that right to the tippy top to give that more like white effect. Kind of just like a really light glow, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna take the You Light Up My Life golden one, kind of bring it around the brow. For blush today, I'm gonna take the XOXO blush from Makeup Geek, and I'm gonna use this Smith 112 brush and lightly apply this to the cheeks. Very like hot pink blush. And these blushes are really pigmented, so you wanna be careful and not apply too much because uh, you will have some like bright ass pink cheeks if you do. Okay, time for the eyes. I'm gonna take some of this Laura Mercier translucent powder on my beauty blender sponge and I'm gonna pack this under the eyes because when I do this whole thing, this will prevent it from sticking to the rest of the face. I might have to touch up that highlight that we did, but um, that's okay, as long as this is covered. I'm also gonna bring this on the sides of the nose so that helps to accentuate the contour. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and prime with Painterly because, uh, focus? Why aren't you focusing? I'm gonna use my concealer brush to kind of carve out the brows too while I prime. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of powder that matches my skin tone, maybe a little bit brighter, 
and set that in place so that the eyeshadow that I put on sticks to it evenly. So I really want to do a cut crease, very similar to my cut crease tutorial. I'll link it right up here. I'm going to try to cover all of my tips and tricks if you have hooded eyes for this tutorial. I do go over that very in depth in that one, so make sure to check that out. My eyes are not hooded, but they are slightly. When I put on eyeliner and I have my makeup all the way done, you can't even see my eyelids when my eyes are open half the time because they get covered up by the um, hood part of the eye, this part up here. This area up here is way more pronounced than my eyelid, especially once I get eyeliner on and everything. So I found a way that works for me so that it looks like my eyelid is a lot bigger than it actually is, and I go over all of those tips and tricks in that video. I'm first gonna take Birkin from Anastasia, this shade here, and I'm gonna blend that into the crease very lightly, and I'm using this Crown C511 brush. I'm making sure that I'm holding really far back on my brush, not too close up to the ferrule because if I do that it's going to go on way too harsh. And I'm sticking in my crease back over here, but then up here I'm going a little bit higher. Now a lot of people didn't really like the shape that I created in that video. I personally love the way my eye looks when I do that, but you don't have to like it, that's fine. If you don't want your arch to be over here more, bring this higher here and then lower over here if you wanted. You could do it low like this and then high up towards the middle and then low again over here. But for me, I liked doing it that way. I'm just very slowly building up this color using a little bit at a time. And then over here when I'm blending this out, I'm kind of blending it in almost like towards the nose arch, like up in this area. Also on this outer part, I'm bringing the crease almost over here rather than ending at the end of my eye. I am going to cover this up with liner later so you won't even be able to tell that it's not matching up with your actual eye. I do go over all of that in that video too if you want to check that out. But yeah, basically it just, it'll get hidden and it'll make it look like this whole eyeball goes wider and makes it look really big. I'm going to take my Smith 230 brush because I think it's going to be the perfect size for what I want to do next. I'm going to take Sidekick from Makeup Geek. It's this like orangey shade here. When I pop this in here now, I'm going to approach it from up here instead of like this because I don't want to mud up this whole lid area. So I'm coming from above and then I'm putting the tip of the brush exactly where I want that product. So right in the socket of the eye. I'm tilting my head back too so I can really see what's going on. And then once you've got the majority of the product off, I'm just kind of going in and buffing that out a little bit, doing more of these windshield wiper motions rather than the wiggling motions. Okay, I want to deepen this up even more, so I'm going to switch to an even more precise brush. This is the E25 from Sigma. I'm going to pick up a mixture of these two shades. This is Cabin Fever here from Makeup Geek, and then this is Americano from Makeup Geek. So I'm gonna mix these two together. You can do the same thing and keep this very low and precise. If you want, you could even go in with like a pencil brush or like an angled brush and get it very, very precise. I did pick up a little bit of that shadow that we used previously to help blend these colors out. I'm gonna use this Tarte Gel Liner, or Clay Pot is what it's called, in Goldilocks. It is a bright, bright yellow. Look how yellow that is. It's so bright. I'm going to use my 242 brush from MAC and I'm going to cut the crease. I'm looking down into my mirror trying not to open my eye fully because I am faking this a little bit. I brought the crease a little higher when I go in to carve. And now while my eye is still kind of like squinting like this, oh, I should have thought of this beforehand. I'm going to use. What color is this? Uh, I'm going to use the color Neon from the Melt Radio Active Stack. I'm going to pick up my 239 brush from MAC and I'm going to set that creamy gel liner with this bright yellow shade. This color is so pretty. It has a little bit of sparkle, but from far away it looks very, very matte. I'm going to take an angled brush. This is my Anastasia brow brush. I'm going to use this and pick up that Americano shade, which is the deepest shade, and get this right on the edge here just to deepen up this crease a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and blend this away. I'm just going to use this fluffy brush, and I'm actually going to pick up some more powder when I buff this away. If you ever feel like it's a little riskier and you just don't feel like 
having to deal with it if it ends up messing up. I'm just picking up a little bit more of this powder, tapping off the excess, and then buffing it away. And it's gone. Okay, I am gonna quickly reinforce this highlight because it kinda went away. Okay, before I do my eyeliner, I am gonna spray my cheekbones with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I've been loving the way that this makes my face look. But I'm gonna listen to you guys. I'm gonna play it safe because I don't feel like fixing this if I mess it up. I'm gonna use this and just cover up the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do a very dramatic wing using the Inglot Gel Liner. I will link my eyeliner tutorial up in the top corner. You can click there to see more tips and tricks on how to line your eyes for any eye shape, but I do give extra tips and tricks for hooded eyes as well. So I finished up the eyeliner and then I applied some mascara. Right now I'm going to apply the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. These are very spiky and full, dramatic, and fabulous. I'm going to move on to the bottom lash line. I'm going to take Cabin Fever. I'm using this E15 Flat Definer Brush from Sigma, and then I'm going to wiggle that right at the base of the lashes and move it all the way into the inner corner. For this step, I'm looking up into my mirror instead of down. That way I can get all up in there without like making my eyes water or irritating them or anything. And now I'm going to take that first initial brush that I used, the Crown C511 brush, and I'm going to pick up some Birkin, tap off the excess, look up, and buff right on the edge of that line. And then on the waterline of my eye, I'm going to use this Tarte Clay Pot Liner in Unicorn Kisses. It's a very light baby blue. Um, I'm very inspired by Beauty and the Beast. On the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to take the Starlet Powder number 13 from Makeup Forever, pop it on the inner corner of my eyeball. I'm not really digging the blue on the waterline. I feel like it looks more like Pocahontas. So instead, I'm just going to take some white gel liner and try to pop it right over top of that blue just because I wasn't feeling it. And then I'm just going to add some mascara to the bottom lashes and fill in my freckle. The mascara that I'm using is the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. And to fill in my freckle, I'm using the NYX Eyebrow Marker in Medium. I kind of want to add some glitter to my inner corner. I'm going to add a little bit of the Reflex Gold Glitter from MAC. For my lips today, I really want to do something a little out of the box, a little bit different, something that I've never really done before. So I'm thinking a pinky nude. I'm taking 22C from Makeup Forever, lining my lips with that to give more of the pink hue. For the nude part, I got these new liquid lipsticks in the mail from Makeup Geek. They're called the Showstoppers and the formula seems really nice. I swatched like a bunch of them on my hand this morning. Something in my eye. The packaging is so cool. I love it. It looks so like fancy. The only thing I don't like about it is that when you take this out of the tube it wipes off like the majority of the product. So I think I'm gonna end up having to go back in a few times, but we'll see. This is my first time using this ever on my lips and it's in the color do -si do Yeah, see, it's like I already need to go in and get more. So that's the only downside of these and it didn't apply very opaque it seemed. All right, that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out that cut crease video if you have any questions on what I did in this as far as technique goes because I go over it a lot in that video. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. If you end up recreating it, please tag me on social media. Everything will be linked down below along with all of the products that I use in this video. Just letting you guys know I am an affiliate so the majority of the links that I provide for product links, I do get compensated on that. I do have a disclaimer at the beginning of the products like at the top of it just to let you guys know because I want to be completely open and honest with you guys there's nothing to hide here um, and if you choose to shop through my link thank you so much for your support um, it really means a lot to me because it supports my channel so I can continue to make more videos if you don't feel comfortable with that and you want to shop without my link that is fine too so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys later bye